Alright, what's up you guys? Since uh, I advocate a lot of recycling and reusing stuff and taking advantage of uh, if you don't got hundreds or thousands of dollars to spend kind of different things that you can do to be more resourceful and you want to create your training gym I haven't covered a lot of that yet but one of my things here is to recycle old chairs or bar stools this here that's the back pad and then this is the ass pad of an, an old stool and if any of you guys ever seen a lot of people throw these things away maybe they don't want to take the time to clean off the metal parts that start to rust after a while say they stored some seats away or they had a a, a little bar or party place in their basement or something and you know how some basements get or whatever the hell the reason furniture and storage the silver parts of the the metal that's usually used to be slightly shiny metal would be you know get some little rust spots all over if, if it's not cared for if it's stored in some yes shit that's stored in a garage maybe people store some furniture in a garage they have no room in their house and yeah they don't want to give it away or sell it at a flea market or anywhere it's just they want to keep it and then after they keep it too long not using it then they end up throwing the shit out but like a smaller pad all you have to do is get a piece of 4x4 four four lumber you know and dig your hole and then put a you know a brick here and then one brick here a little lower so you're 4x4 four four between you know you when you're striking if any of guys watched Steven Seagal movies there was one uh, what was that one where he got shot and then he got out of the coma Rissus I'm gonna take you to the bank the blood bank you know that politician had him had him try to kill him or whatever and he was in a coma and he come out from the um was it out for out for justice or one of those but anyway yeah you see a training item that he made in and then he started getting himself all pumped back up again to get the bad guys but anyway this is the ass pad here a lot of cushion here <laughs> give you a little demonstration here for the elbow try to get you the sound going here ready one two try to get the camera going so you can actually see there we just even hold it like this I'll get the basic idea. You can use it for kneeing the little, whether it's the little pad or the big pad. Maybe hold either one of these, the partner to hold it in their hand. Whether it's the big pad or the little pad and just knee the living shit out of it, you know what I mean? I was trying to show you the best I could in this camera here. See what happens with the little one, you know. The little one's easier to hold on to because it's not as way as heavy. Let me, let me get this in the camera here. But, but you know, you can have a partner just hold it like this, you know. Practice that kneeing. And if they want to do a knee punch elbow combination, you know. If you have a director, somebody directing the thing, you know, call a knee 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 elbow knee elbow elbow punch knee 
and then kick a bunch of things like that, you know, calling it like that, and then they can just hold the pad, you know, but this little one ain't quite as padded, but I like the idea of having a softer pad where you can really go at it, but then have a pad where it's padded, but yet you'll be hitting a hard surface when you hit so hard, so you get the idea that a lot of your targets are not going to be soft in real life, but this is so this is smaller but yet it's not as but anyway my whole point is you can get a lot of stuff like this take the metal part to your local scrapyard get some ga money for gasoline money because the price of gas is always going up save these keep some for yourself give some to your friends you know and then like a lot of training pads are pretty expensive and you know who can afford all that shit you know what I mean but right here, here we go. All right, here we go. Wait a minute, hold on. But anyway, you get the basic idea. I'm holding, trying to hold this in one can in one hand, excuse me, I'm trying to hold this in one hand and stay in the camera at the same time and but but yeah, the my, the bigger ones seem to have more padding because they're for the butt and then the other ones are for the seat and your advantage is, you know, you can use a soft pad but then you're better something has a little less padding so you can feel the oomph to it, you know what I mean? because I like to use, you know, the forearm too, you know, I mean, like, if you, do, if you like to use the videos for the sneaky boxing techniques where you, where in sport boxing people sneak elbows in and sneak, rake the forearm across the nose, you know, you can use the forearm too, you know, out there for the pad, but. All right, I figure I'd just give you a real uh, rundown of that. But, yeah, since I advocate, you know, um, recycling, I don't like to see anything go to waste. Try to make a use for everything you can. And why the hell buy expensive pads and all kind of stuff that you can't even afford? It can run you into thousands of dollars. And I think there's a lot of people that are at a disadvantage when... Uh, they don't have a lot of money to spend on their credit cards and everything, you know. Pretty resourceful, and there's a lot of stuff that you can reuse around here, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of pads and bar stools that make pretty damn good uh, pads, you know what I mean? But uh, I think that's about it. So I think I'm going to toss that your way. But what I'm going to try to do is uh, get get the girlfriend to hold a pad and we both take turns and demonstrate this. Maybe this can be one of our next videos. Yeah, we were trying to do another video like what we were doing already with the, the crowbars and the, the metal rods there to try to show you the idea of... Um, reducing fear by getting familiar with the impacts and you how you can get nerves of steel you know so we've both been busy with a lot of things in the offline life too so try to get videos out so those will be coming but anyway um, okay, I think that's it that's it for this video um, See you next time.